Hello everybody, welcome to Mo's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna make chili. This was another viewer request and I thought, you know what, it's Canadian winter time. Chili is awesome. You can use it for a lot of things that I'm gonna show you in the video. But before I show you anything, I'm gonna show you how cold it is in Canada. This is the first time ever that I'm gonna take you outside of my house in Canada, showing the mid-January 2017 freezing weather. Check it out. Okay, so we're about to pass through this scary door. Hey guys, don't look, don't look, you don't wanna see the horrors, the humanity of it all out there. Ah, 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 oh. Yes, this is the middle of January in Canada right now. I don't know what's up with the weather, but this is it. Some people might think, oh, Canada, it needs snow. I'm like, no, I don't want to shovel snow, driving the freezing ice. This is a clear day. I love it. In fact, I'm in shorts right now cooking. Hope it stays this way. Anyways, let's get back to my kitchen. So for about 20 minutes, I'm going to stir these onions on medium heat with about a pinch of salt. Draw some of the moisture out. And I want to get these things nice and brown. You'll know when it's ready. Okay, this is about what I'm looking for. Don't worry, the onions won't burn, a few charred, but that's fine. Toss in the peppers, another 10 minutes, that's what I like to do. Now, over time, these are basically going to disappear in the product, so near the end of the cooking, I'm going to throw in some raw onions and some raw peppers, just to get that crunch. Okay, so this is looking good. Now, I'm going to add in some garlic, about 5 cloves, pounded and crushed. Now, stir that in, let that go for just maybe 2 minutes, 3 minutes tops, this can burn pretty easily. There we go. Okay, so here's all my spices. Make a well in the middle and just dump it in there. You want to kind of stir it in and toast them for a few minutes. That's the trick. Kind of wake them up a little bit. I've got salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, cayenne. I'll talk more about chili powder a little bit later. You can use it if you want to. Pros will make their own, but it's fine. Okay, well, I'm not a giant fan of ground beef. In recipes like this, it's fine because we're cooking it for several hours, so it will work. Okay, so you can tell there's a bit of fat in there. Some people like to get rid of it, but don't. It's flavor. You can get rid of it later on if you want, or just do what I do and keep it. I tried to make kind of a well in the center, but this pot's a bit small. Putting in a few tablespoons of tomato paste, this will help thicken it up and give some extra tomato flavor. Then I want you to fry it off for a few minutes and then stir it in. Alright then everybody, now we're going to play the add the liquid game. How much is a million dollar question? Well, I'm going to go with three cups of beef broth. Water will work fine, and the meat will flavor the water, and it will make it, but... I'm going to kick things up a notch. BAM! With some beef broth, West Side. But anyways, um, it's gonna look like I'm adding way too much. And the funny story is, I kind of forgot I'm adding a can of tomato paste or a can of crushed tomato. So I even I thought I was gonna use too much, but it'll be fine because it will um absorb a lot of it. Actually, I, I needed more at the end of it. I had to even add more. So this is actually gonna work a lot better than you might think, guys. So before we lift this thing up, there's one thing we have to add. Some people leave it out. Some people will just let the water reduce it. A thickening agent. I'm going to use tortilla chips. I know that sounds nuts, but trust me, it'll work. Some people use masa, which is kind of a Spanish flour. Other people use regular flour or cornstarch. Do not make a roux, okay? We're not doing that. But um, I have these on hand, and I've always wanted to try, so what the heck? I'm going to crush them up. Besides, I figured with this chili and cheese, you can make nachos, so heck, why not? Crush them up, give them a stir, and lit up for... Well, you can go for an hour if you want to, but I'm going to go for at least two. So just to give all you naysayers, uh, oh, I'm putting too much uh, water in here. This is after only an hour of cooking. Look how thick that's gotten. I'm just getting near with my spoon now. See that? That's absorbed a lot of it. So I'm actually going to be transferring this to a bigger pan very shortly, which I was not happy about. I had to clean two pans, but no big. All right, optional step as well, but I'm adding two cans of beans. This is a red kidney and some black beans. Whatever it is you got, just go for it and use it. Okay, now for the hardest part of my entire video. The presentation, making it look super good, super clean, and super crisp for the video. A little bit of sour cream would work, but meh. I'm going to go with some cheese and some more cheese, because I love it. After that, we have step two. We're going to have some crackers all cracked up, because you know we all love to have it with our chili. Okay, fine, these are breadcrumbs, but they're just nicer for picture. For actual eating, just use crackers and break them up by your hand. If you don't want to get crackers, grind them in a bit of processor. It takes too much time and work, and I don't want to do that. And a little extra cheese because I have some lying around that I'm going to use anyways. Now to give some awesome color contrast, we've got parsley. Just like a traffic light. Stop. Caution. And after the parsley, you can go ahead and eat. Because after this, it's time to dig in. Kind of clever, actually. I like it. Okay, now for the easiest and best part of the recipe. It's time to eat. Before you do, you want to give everything a good mix around so that, you know, crackers get in there. The cheese melts. It's all stringy and it's awesome. And by the way, this is the very first time I've ever made chili at home, or ever made chili, period, in my life. This goes to show you, it turned out great, by the way. This goes to show you, you don't need to be a chef or some awesome cook, and you don't even need a recipe. You just gotta know your way around the kitchen, know your way around the ingredients, and know what does what. This was an awesome recipe, and I'm very happy I made it. Don't be afraid to double or even triple the recipe, and freeze them. This freezes really well for using it for nachos, other stews, or soups even. You know, this is a great recipe, guys. Give it a shot. But guess what? I'm not even done yet. Check this out. 
Okay, so I kind of messed up the plating, but putting it on top of a bed of rice is delicious. Just ignore this horrible photo of mine. Okay, so say you're making chili and all the time it takes, take about 10 minutes to make some pasta. It might seem a little bit bizarre, but um, here's why. Anybody here like mac and cheese? Throw your hands up. If you like lasagna, put your hands up. If you like anything with sauce and cheese in the oven roasted with breadcrumbs, also put your hands up. That's right. Check this out. So get some pasta. I like rotini over this. Get some of your chili. And give it a good amount of cheese and breadcrumbs. 400 degree oven, about 10 minutes, broil it for two. You could stick it under the broiler from the start for about maybe two or three minutes, but um, I did it that way. Keep your eye on it though on broiler because it can burn very quick and very easy. Here's what we have, guys. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Yeah! Careful, by the way, it's hot. I love this. This is delicious. This is definitely a great reason to make it. Hope you all give it a try. Thank you all for watching it. Click the like button below and don't forget to subscribe and support my Patreon. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. All right, so I will be throwing in some onions and some ri Darn it. So these are gonna disintegrate over time and be like nothing. So I'm gonna throw in some raw garlic. It's not garlic, these are onions and peppers. Ugh. So these are basically gonna disintegrate when I'm in the video. When, <laughs> wow, when I'm in the video? It doesn't even make sense.